Well, <clears throat> well, well, well. Once again, guys, my name's Asmaram, and this is my full review of the 49ers at Rams, where sadly we lost 20 to 17 against the Rams. Uh, before I start, thank you very much for the uh, for the, uh, the views on the video. Really appreciate it, guys. If you're new, subscribe. I'll be doing 49ers news or anything NFL news or reviews, reactions, and so forth. I do a bit of everything uh, during the week. But yeah, I did say on the video before, which I'll leave a link in the description, I did a quick one where I was tired, I wasn't angry because I just had enough, but I'm going to give you my highlights and I'm going to give my full review of the whole game. So, I've written it all down, so here we go. First quarter, it was Rams ball, went nowhere, then it was 49ers ball, went nowhere, Rams ball again, and then Rams throw straight into the end zone, but it got interception by uh, Ward, 49ers ball. Then the 49ers uh, ball went nowhere. Then it was Rams ball. Then second quarter. So it looked like to me the first quarter was they're both getting a rhythm to see what's what. That's all. Both of them were janky, but there you go. Second quarter. Rams ball. Rams, uh, Stafford gets sacked by uh, Bosa. Uh, Rams touchdown by uh, Cooper Cup, 0-7. Uh, Rams point is good, 0-8, then it was the 49ers ball. Touchdown, Debo Samuel, 6-7. Robert Gold gets the point, that's good, 7-7. Seven seven. Then he went to the Rams ball. Rams had a 54-yard field goal, and it was no good. Then it was the 49ers ball. Debo Samuel got injured badly, like he got a smack, like a proper hit. I don't remember who hit him. <laughs> but um, he come off, he said in like, after the game, the interviews, he was winded. But he was fine, got back up and got back in. And then Robbie Gold got a 30-yard field goal, which was good, 10-7. So the second quarter, I thought we did all right. We were gaining, getting momentum. We got that rhythm going. Bosa sack Stafford. Um, yeah, okay, the defense was a little bit janky, nothing major. Yes, Cooper Cup, very slippery, very sly, gets around people. Not enough coverage on him. They got the bleeding um, touchdown out of it. But, yep, yeah, we were slowly coming in, slowly coming back, and to finish at 10-7 in the first half was good. So, third quarter, 49ers ball. 49ers ball went nowhere, and it was the Rams ball. Uh, the ball was slowly going across the field. Uh, Rams tried to go on a 4 on one It was no good. Uh, it was, I don't know if it was... Jenkins or someone, but for some reason, they tried to get the ball over, but it was, um, in, I think it was intercepted, because McVeigh tried to get the challenge, and the play call still stood, he, he, he wasted uh, uh, his timeout, which was I thought was bizarre, even that challenge I thought was bizarre, but I hope. Uh, 49ers ball, 49ers tucked down by Kittle, 16-7, Robbie goal point is good, 17-7, and then it went to the Rams ball, then third quarter ended. Yeah, Sean McVay using those timeouts, I don't know if it was a, a good game plan, or he knew what he was doing, I didn't think he knew what he was doing, because he just gave away, I think it was like, two timeouts, and I f one of them was just a normal timeout, and the second one was just for this challenge which was bizarre but hi ho move on to the last bit here we go fourth quarter Rams ball Rams touchdown uh, cup 17-13 Rams point is good 17-14 49ers ball uh, and Rams, cha Rams challenge again a play against uh, Jusic he had the ball in hand that thought it come out of his hand but the call still stood that was always timeouts gone yet again. Dude didn't understand why, but hey ho. 49ers on a 4 and 2. Uh, they were going to go for it, but then delay of game, which yet again. They had touched that. They had three timeouts at the time. Three. Why? Why would you. Just why? Why delay the game? Jimmy just could have done it himself, even though Shannon said no. He can see the clock. He could have just. Did a timeout himself. It was, that was bizarre. Very stupid. But there you go. Uh, didn't go nowhere. Rams' ball. Rams uh, got the field goal. 17-17. 49ers ball. 
49ers ball went nowhere, Rams was ball, and then Rams Stafford sacked uh Rams uh, Stafford got sacked by a bookman. Rams thirty yard field goal is good, seventeen twenty. Forty ers ball. And of course we all knew first in ten, which really does my behind, it really gets on my nerves how they have the ball and they constantly on the first, always on a first down. They don't spread out to go for a, a medium to long throw, which a lot of the team would if you're on that, you know, if you're on that 17-20. If you're three points behind, you want to get that ball right across as quick as you can. But for some odd reason, yet again, you give them the ball from the defence, if I either go into the defence from one side or to the other or straight in the middle, why are you running into them? Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, it's the um, knacker them out. It makes them tired. This is the Rams you're going up against. So that's a, that's the worst excuse going. That's the most dumbest idea going. That's the worst plan going. You throw the ball long as you can. Just to get it over a first and ten if you have to. Just to get it up the field. But, yeah. No, they didn't do that. So that was a first and ten. And then, second and ten. Jimmy G comes out of the pocket. He was getting done. He goes up the field. Some defence man was coming for him. As soon as he's about to grab him, he threw the ball out. I don't know who tried to get it on his fingertips. Um, but it went straight over his fingertips. And it got intercepted, uh, I think, on a minute and eight on the clock. And then it was the Rams' ball. And all I had to do was take a knee. 17-20. Uh, yet again, very, very bizarre. Very bizarre. Oh yeah, I forgot. I think it was on the third quarter. Or the fourth. Uh, top. Who had the, the... The most brilliant open downfield going. Just to grab it. And it came off his chest. I don't know if it's come off his chest. And he just couldn't get it in his hands. But he would have got ridiculed after that game. Uh, which is guttering really. So... Let's talk. Debo Samuel. He put everything into that game. No joke. Everything. I feel gutted for him. Now, usually when people cry because he was crying, I feel, you know, when some people just man up, get up, get over yourself, sort of thing. You know what I mean? It's it's the end. It's not the end of the world. It is what it is. Just get up and go. But you feel for this guy. He had one touch on that ball in the fourth quarter. Yet yeah, that's your guy who's put everything. Even he had a touchdown. And he went for that touchdown. Like, he jumped for that touchdown. You know what I mean? They pushed him. And he got that touch. You know what I mean? He put his heart into that team. And apparently there's a de developing story that they'll extend his contract. 100% you extend the guy's contract. Okay. Bit janky, he's 26. But nevertheless, if he's healthy enough for, for next year, he could be ready for next year. Um, but he put everything into that game. Yet, yet alone, he put everything into the season. 100%. Uh, it's, it, it's just guttering to see him upset than the rest. Because, uh, uh, you know, to go out there and give it your all. To find out that your quarterback did what you just did. Oh, mate. I feel... I couldn't even tell you. But, yeah, him. feel gutted for him. But fair play to what he's done. Fair play to what he's done. And I can't wait to have him. See him next season. Um, defence. Let's talk about defence. Um, they did well. Not good. Well. I always say it was well, good, very good. Brilliant, great, you know, the greatest of all, all that. They did pretty well, but they still gave up that 20 points. The slippery slope of Jefferson, Odell Beckham, and uh, Cooper Cup mm, was unreal. Unreal, but we couldn't get there in time. The amount of man coverage, like when you watch, it was bizarre how two people, you got to cover one guy. And you expect that guy out of this one to get it, but no. He stands around doing nothing. Expect him. 
I can't remember his name. There's about another guy to get him. That makes no sense. He, uh, Cooper Cup was all over the place. Fair play. But we had, I don't know what the, the signal was to cover who, what man coverage to cover. But it, it was bizarre. And of course, Tart dropping the ball was, ah, oh, mate. I bet his social media pages them disliked all over the place. And to be fair, yes, it was upsetting. That could have got us to another touchdown. But at the end of the day, just leave him. It is what it is. He's feeling it. The whole team's feeling it. But it, as an individual, I think you all feel it the most because it was open. It was his. I mean... Offensively, I think we did all right. Samuel was good. Uh, Kittle was good. I was all right. Jennings was all right. Eli Mitchell was all right. No, yeah, Eli Mitchell was all right. It, it, it weren't. It was good, but not very good. It was good, not great. We could have been better. We could have had. We had the chances. We had the best plays, but we couldn't put it off. Um. Carl Shanahan, what can we say about this guy? <sighs> As a, uh, it's bizarre. His game plan never pulls through. When he comes under pressure, the guy chokes. Always chokes. You know, when it comes to a tight end, always in the third, maybe fourth quarter, the guy just chokes under pressure with his game plans. And his game plans, 70%, maybe 80% of the time, are all crap. They're rubbish. Why go for a run into the defence? Or run near the outside of the defence? Why do I see every time I watch a an NFL game of anything, even Bengals and Chiefs, we had the ball first and they threw it long. Just to get over a first and ten, they had decent throws. Why is he telling? Why is he going it right, right, Jimmy? Or just, or just run into him, knacker him out, or whatever. It's a waste of time. You're going up against the Rams. I was shocked they didn't even throw it, but they do it every time. A first and ten, they run through the place, and they get nowhere. Ninety nine, ninety nine point nine percent, they get nowhere. Okay, they did it once. Zero point was it zero zero point zero one percent? But ninety nine point nine nine percent, they it never wins. They never win. So why keep doing it? Will we have Carl Shanahan on the next season? If we do, I mean, Christ, good luck with that, ain't we? Jesus, wait, good luck with that. But he needs to put his finger at his eyes because I can see either Jed York. Saying to him, jog, jog on. Maybe even John Lynch. I don't know what's going on with that head office between York, Lynch, Shannon. I ain't got a clue. But Shannon needs to step up, really step up. Honest to God. Uh, Jimmy G. I mean. He plays terrible when he's injured. He plays great when he's not. People say that to me. Uh, he plays good, maybe good, when he's well. And he plays all right, if not bad, when he's injured. We saw today. Thumb sling, shoulders gone. You know. Ugh. So he wasn't even better. Yet he still couldn't have the bottle. To stand back and go, listen, but listen, coach, I, I I can't do it. Give it to Trey Lance. Why did they give him to Trey Lance? I don't understand. I really don't understand why they didn't give it to him. The word upset it it, it pees me off that you've just traded up, and I keep saying it in every video, traded up for third in the draft. You pick him. And you used him a little bit at the beginning and one game against the Texans. Like I thought they were going with Jimmy G can't do it. Get him off, get Trey, just to confuse the defence. But obviously not. Jimmy G's not good under pressure. We lost because he's under pressure. He's he's not good. 
he's not good at all. As you saw, a man coming to the right, and where's he going to go? I was shocked, even when you watch the full game on the, on the NFL Game Pass, they'll give you the, um, where the uh, coordinators from the top shows. Man, even they couldn't get to the guy. Some of them moved forward to g give him the pass. All he had to do was look. Or he could have ran it himself, which he don't usually do. I lied. He doesn't really do. Why can't he run the ball? Why? Because he's got a sprain injury. Fucking Jesus Christ, this guy's got a sprain injury. What has he got? A sprain injury. He's got a shoulder injury, a thumb injury, an arse injury, a back injury, headache injury. This guy has still got injuries all over the place. And I found out, as this comes out uh, on the news feed, that um, he's got uh, surgery in the off-season. Four to six weeks off. I don't care how long it takes. Seriously. Get him better, get him traded, or just get him gone. I'm not saying get rid of him because of what happened on that game. I'm just saying, for the whole season, he did very good, but he didn't do great. Takes one little injury, and then we've lost him. Um, it, it's, he it just hasn't improved. Even before the season started, in last uh, in August when the season started of the friendlies, before then all the training camps, the training. I thought the training was really boring. Because I did the training videos for you guys on my YouTube channel. Oh, um, Jimmy G's improving, Jimmy G's this, Jimmy G's that. And I actually thought to myself, that's not too bad then. That's really good. Man, I've been, I've been sold out. I've been sold. I'm a sellout because of that. Because he, he's done alright. I lied. He's done very good, but he ain't done great. He has not improved. I expect sacks and interceptions on a constant. And then we got them. Honestly. The trade for Jimmy G. It's time to go. You've got to trade him now. You know, he's a nice bloke. Even in the interviews, he sounds like a nice bloke. When you, He was holding back the tears. He got emotional. He was holding back the tears. Which I understand. He got emotional. He stood back. He saw what happened. It is what it is. He's a nice guy. Seems like a nice guy. When he talks to the interviewers, nice guy. But he pisses me off that he says, "Well, we need to. We need. We. We need to make a change." No, they don't. You need to make a change. You're the quarterback that stuffed it. And he knows that. But to sit there, we need to improve. No, they don't need to improve. You need to improve. That's what really gets on my nerves. He knows he needs to improve, but yet he sits there like it's the team's fault as well. No, it ain't. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Out of out of the team's fault, Tart, which, to be fair, yeah, it was his fault. It was open. He had it. It dropped out of his hands. But mainly, you're the bloke. You're the guy. On the fourth quarter made it worse. If I said the worst play there between Tart and UG was you, Jimmy. It was you, mate. You made it worse. Not even on the first and ten when you had the ball. And you tried to run right. You know, you tried to throw right and it nearly intercepted them. But to go left and fright, oh, mate, just to see something coming, it was, oh, man, you've got to go. No disrespect, you've done good out of us. What was it, 120, 130 million dollars? And we've been in what, within 10 years to the Super Bowl twice? With you, once? Enough's enough, you've got to go. Like I said, I think there's a better team out there for you that suits you, but no, nah, man, I, I couldn't do it. I just, I just couldn't see him come back, honest to God. Um... To wrap it up quick, successful season. Was it a successful se was it a successful season? Me personally, I thought we had a really good season. Now a lot of you could differ. I thought it was good. I actually thought it was good because 
we come out the underdogs, and I thought at the beginning of the season we were like, oh my god, this does not look good at all. We're stuffed. Like, we're really stuffed. But then, as you see on these pictures, our games, yeah, at the start, it was 50 50. But then we were slowly coming up, but then we went back down, and we started coming up, and we went back down, but then we had a rhythm of going up right near the end. Beating the Rams twice, you know what I mean, was, even that's brilliant in itself. Because we all knew that even Sean McVeigh and the owner and the manager, they put in so much salary money, or tried to put in so much salary money, and tried to get that best team to win the Super Bowl this season. With the free agents and the year with Odell Beckham Jr. Could they do it? And now they're in the Super Bowl. Against the Bengals. 50-50. And they're playing at home. So. You know. To beat them twice. What an end. And then to go wild card. Against the um, Cowboys. And then the Packers. Just to beat them was Oh, tight. It was tight. It was clinching tight. But we did it. We were the six seed underdogs. Honestly. And and I thought we played really well. But I think that Rams... It was good, but it weren't great enough to get us through. And that's a fact. So fair play to the... Um, to the Rams for, for going through. But I thought they played... Really well, well better than us, a fair play to them. Um, do we need to change players? I think you have to look at the yearly contracts, the one year deals. And if I, you know, I think some of them are not worth coming back. Um, but we didn't, really shouldn't have to change a lot. I think we've got an elite defence and offence, technically. I think we really do. I think we could have done really, 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 really well. But the yearly con like the one year contracts get rid and find improvements uh through the free agency or see whatever pick you can get, whatever draft pick you got I don't know if you've got any draft pick left. But you've got to find something. You've got to, got to go through the market and have a look. Um other than that, I thought we had an alright season. We came under the underdogs and we went through and sadly we got knocked out. But there you go. This is the season. Um, next season, do I think Trey Lance will start? Yes. Like I said, one year deals, get rid, have a look, look at the markets, see what's going on. But Trey Lance needs to start. You didn't trade up for third for nothing. You've lost picks to get this guy. And this guy is our hope. Even if we do all right next year or worse... He's a rookie. He's been training and developing and he's only played a little bit at the beginning of the season and one game. Not even a full game for like a full season. Get Trey Lance starting now and trade Jimmy or free agent him out. Get rid. He's done well but I, I think he could do better somewhere else. Not with us. It, it, he's had his chances. He's robbed us of like, was it, $100, $130 million for five years. Nah, that's enough. All done and dusted. Other than that, that's it. Um, I hope everything went well. Leave a comment, guys. Tell me what you think. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Leave your comments. I'd like to hear what you've got to say out there. Um, thank you very much as well for the uh, 60 subscribers. Really fortunate and humble. Re appreciate you guys subscribed. And if you're new, subscribe. Uh, I'll keep you updated with any 49ers news or any NFL news. Um out and about which is interesting um, and of course I've got uh, reactions, reviews, movie review coming out and so forth bit of bobs of everything during the week um, thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you guys on the next video